What is up, guys? It has been a minute. I've missed you guys. And I've missed the content that I used to put out with my podcast. Um, I have a lot going on in my lifestyle right now um, that is just rightfully taking certain priority in my life. But I'm so missing doing these talks and these podcasts that I used to do. Um, so there's going to be no format to this tonight. I want it to be actually very quick. The point of tonight was just to turn the camera on and record. I set up a, pro a professional microphone and was going to do mixing and all that because I'm an engineer. But at the end of the day, I said, look, man, most of the guys I know who have very successful channels just turn the camera on and shoot everything on the camera. So that's what we're going to do. And it's better for me because it's more convenient. And um, we're just going to get right into it. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to call this a certain thing for a podcast or whatnot. We're just going to roll the cameras. So um, hopefully you guys rock with me. And <laughs> for anybody out there who's watching and currently subscribed, thank you for listening to this in advance. I want to tell you guys a story about some gems that I picked up on my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on my recent hike up a mountain next to my house. But before that, check out this beautiful intro. All right, guys. So this last weekend, uh, my brother, my homie, Bam, those of you guys know him on YouTube as Goku Pump, uh, came out to visit me. We have been talking for quite a long time. I've been supporting his channel and we have had an excellent friendship on the phone for quite some time. And we've always teased the idea of him coming out here to visit. And uh, he had the time to do it recently. So he came out here and the point of the trip was first and foremost, just to meet each other. Um, but then I was gonna look at some of the things he was doing with his business and his brand and gonna try to impart some wisdom to him on some next steps to take it to the next level. He was gonna help me uh, in my fitness journey, kind of look at where I was at because I got sick a ton this year and it's just been so hard to get back into it. And uh, being that I had major surgery on my wrist, um, getting back into fitness has been super slow. Um, certain movements I couldn't even do. Like I couldn't even do a pull-up when I, when I got started. Pull-ups are still super difficult for me, but I've come a long way. Um, and so he came out, we were going to kind of just politic and you know, iron sharp and iron there. And then um, I wanted to just take him around the city and just show him a, a different experience. He had never been, he'd been to the, I think he had been to like LA one time, but for the most part, he's never really been out in the West Coast and hung out in a while. So uh, I wanted to show him around and mainly just the landscape of Arizona, like the true desert <laughs> in, in this country. So, uh, and just, you know, catch a vibe really um because he was sh wanting to shoot content um both fitness and kind of lifestyle talk um and, and the first thing i did when he flew in he flew in thursday night and friday morning we went up to south mountain south mountain was a mountain that i had been hiking since i was like 14 years old and uh i've hiked up that mountain so many times uh because it was right next to my elementary school and or sorry next to my middle school and high school growing up so we did that a lot. I've moved since like maybe 30 minutes away from the mountain, but uh, I took him there. It's a nice little like 45 minute hike up. I think we got down in like 30 minutes. So it's fairly challenging, uh, not too short in my experience, as far as a hike's concerned out in the desert in over a hundred degree heat, it is like a perfect cup of tea for an exercise. And uh, I, I picked up some gems while I was up there. You know, I've always hiked that place and it's amazing when you do like a hike, just the things that happen mentally, like the things that go through your head while you're going up the mountain. And for me, I was just picking up so many new things that I hadn't recognized before. And I wanted to share those with you guys. So I've got a little list here of some thoughts. And this is kind of just going to be like me thinking out loud and sharing this experience with you because maybe you guys have experienced this. I don't know if you guys go on walks or hikes, but there's a lot of research to support the fact that you can get rid of mental illness, uh, you can increase your lung capacity, 
um, a lot of uh, degenerative type of illnesses and diseases that you can get when you're older uh, can be significantly reduced by like 60 to 80 percent in some cases when you look at like Alzheimer's, dementia, things like that. Um, just incredible things happen when you can walk at a fast pace or hike, um, especially in Arizona because it's so hot. And uh, so I just want to go through real quick with you guys some of the things I picked up that were fascinating to me that I will definitely hold on to and try to grow as a person with. So the first thing was the exercise aspect of it. Now um, I'm walking on this ground and for the first like 15 minutes, you're kind of like doing this roller coaster -y walk through different terrain and then you hit the base of the mountain and then it's pretty much an incline from that point. So initially when I got in there, I'm like, yo, it's crazy. Like in terms of workout exercises, this mountain is the ultimate compound exercise. Like you have, gravel, you have hard, hard giant rocks, and you have some smoothed out trail. So the terrain is constantly changing. So you have to be intentional about your footwork so you don't slip and just cut yourself open. Um, there's, from an actual movement standpoint, you have lunges, you have squats, you have jump squats, you have incline, decline, um, uh, what else? I mean, everything is being engaged, like your calves, your quads, your hands, your glutes, especially. Man, my glutes walking up that mountain were just like on fire at just everything is like a, a big variation. Like it, nothing was the same. Every minute of, of travel up that mountain and across that terrain was like a different type of attention. Oh, I'm this part I'm climbing. Oh, this part I'm kind of like lugging through it. Oh, this part's really gravelly, so I don't want to slip. It was just amazing. It was blowing my mind. Second thing was the breathing. Like I've been doing this new thing where I've been trying to really be intentional about breathing through my nose. I don't know about you guys, but like when you breathe through your nose, you just have more control. And I posted content on this prior. Um, at, the more you increase in your exercise though, the harder it is to breathe through your nose and the harder it is to breathe longer, longer breaths. You're more so uh, doing one of these. <sighs> You know what I mean? So I was really trying to be one with myself and practice breathing through my nose and doing long breaths and, and that was so difficult. Uh, so I was just thinking about maintaining like my composure and getting a nice quality breath while going up that mountain because I found the more reckless my breathing was, the harder it was to lug myself up that thing. So I was like, man, I, man, breathing is so important um, when it comes to, to exercising. It really helps you keep pace, it helps you keep focus and it helps you kind of, um, it, 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 it primes the body for the task at hand with the exercise. Um, thirdly, uh, real quick, hold on. Um, the body detox aspect of it. I was sweating my body off. I mean, I was dripping sweat. I think it was like 105 and I was just sweating profusely, like just trip i might have been sweating harder than if i was in a steam room i mean i was leaking man and so it was just like a body detox like the the toxicity was just oozing out of me so i'm, I'm just feeling like i'm getting squeezed of all my toxicity going up that mountain which every time a breeze came it was just so refreshing and by the time i was done with the exercise even though i was dirty and smelly and 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 warped as far as my body felt and you know how my body felt I was just so grateful like the feeling like I even felt like my lungs just breathing better and and more air like it's kind of hard to explain but it was a beautiful thing man so the the sweat aspect of it and being in the heat there's a lot of science and research out there that shows that you know they did a lot of tests to show like people the the health benefits of being in a sauna and being in a steam room and and they're incredible um, if you look at a lot of the different case studies on the health benefits of that, so especially in Arizona, you get the sauna and the steam room, just go hike or go out on a walk. And so I just felt incredible after that. And I was super grateful for it. Um, I've also acknowledged that, or I've also found out that, you know, I believe that this thing can cure a lot of mental health issues, <laughs> you know, and, and I don't mean like, uh, I, I guess there's certain technicalities that I should, I, I should probably be pretty specific. I think if you are dealing with 
deep depression, sadness, anger, self-control issues. I think a lot of that can be handled on that mountain, man. I don't know. There's something about um, the, 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 deep, the deep feelings you have during a, a walk or a hike that just allow your feelings to just come out and be what they are. And for you to just have a healthy, sober perspective on yourself, um, there's a hopefulness to the hike because you're just looking at be beautiful scenery. I really feel like you're connected with God and you're thinking about God, or you're just aware of this massive creation that has been around long before you've even been there. So I was just thinking like, man, anxiety, depression, anger, like bring that stuff up to the mountain, man. Like I felt... I felt a world of emotions while I was hiking. Like, I think the main ones for me was just like humility and gratitude. Like, wow, I'm 33 years old. Like, I've made it this far. Um, wow, look how simple this is. Look how profound this walk is. You know, I just started to think about simplification in my life and like reassessing the priority of everything. And I noticed the more I was just kind of letting myself feel things and think things and just kind of doing a mental registry of myself, I felt better, man. I think a lot of people's issues out there today is they don't have nothing to express themselves. And there's a fear of expression. And there's a politicalness to expression where you're afraid because you you know you're not going to express something the same way other people express something. Or your emotions might be too severe for the world to handle. Man, go up on that mountain, man. I, it'll deal with you. It'll deal with you and, and it'll help you to not be so afraid to kind of be who you are in that moment. And man, you might even shed a tear up there on that mountain doing a good hike. So I encourage all y'all to do it. Um, it removes distractions, man. Like there's something about the quietness of the hike and hearing birds and I couldn't even hear air up there. It was just like, I could barely hear anything the higher up i went the less i could hear and man it just removed everything in my day like that's why i believe you should kind of do the hike or if you're gonna walk do it faster because the challenge has to be great enough to require your attention so i found that like during the incline and stuff you were just zoned in with the moment you were one with the moment and i i could just have wholesome thoughts because even when i wasn't at the hardest parts of the mountain I didn't care anymore about the rest of the day. You know what I mean? I kind of left all that in my car, so to speak. So um, I just think it has an incredible ability to remove distractions. Um, I'm seeing we're already hitting like 12 minutes, so we're going to try and knock it off at 15. I, I just wanted to say as well that on this mountain, it made me think about like, you know, what's the what's the purpose of life, man? Like, you know, I want to live my life to glorify God. I want to do right by others in, in terms of like, I want to treat people with, with respect I want to be sensitive to the things that people are going through. I want to be more attentive to my wife and my son. I want to be able to be more organized. I want to face a lot of my fears, especially like my fitness journey. There's been a lot of fear involved with that. And um, I'll elaborate more on that uh, on future videos, just more detail on my fitness journey. But like, I, I just was, it, it, it kind of recalibrated a lot of what's important and it made me say like, yo, there's some, th you know, there's more to go. Like there's more to put off and, and, um, and, and pick up the priorities a little bit harder than I had before. Um, and it also just made me just, again, grateful for where I was at. Like I've accomplished a lot in my life by the grace of God and, um, it's all him. And I really felt a, a reminder of that being on top of that mountain, just like, yo, God, this is yours. Like, I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to live tomorrow, but you know, I just believe in you and what you're doing in my life. And I submit everything that I got going for your purposes. Um, I'm nothing without you. Like I just felt a sense of surrender, like re surrender, so to speak, uh, with just the day at hand and just learn, just reminding myself like, yo, all you have is the day. You know what I mean? Like make the most of it, you know, uh, don't get caught up in the rut. So I just feel like the, I need to hike a lot more. Um, it just had a way of simplifying things. I remember when me and Bam or Goku, uh, Goku Pump went to the top, he initially wanted to bring exercise equipment, like a lot of it. He wanted to bring dumbbells. He wanted to bring the pull-up bar. Um, 
you know, a few things. And then when we got it, and then we decided not to bring some of them. And then we left a lot of them in the car. He was even saying when we got to the top of the mountain, like, yo, I don't even feel like filming right now. Like, this is just too beautiful. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, it just strips you of like this need to do anything other than hike. <laughs> and uh, we did wind up filming a little bit, but for the most part, we just enjoyed the moment and let it be what it was. And even Bam, like, he got to deal with his feelings about his mom and, and like, the experience of where YouTube has brought him. You know, he's, he's able to travel now and go meet his supporters like myself. And he was just extremely grateful and acknowledging how blessed he was to just be able to be across the United States with someone he didn't even know uh, hiking up a mountain. Like, he just, um, he really appreciated that. And uh, yeah, man, it was just a great experience. So long story short, guys, I just encourage you guys go take a walk, preferably a, a faster walk than, you know, something that's going to get your heart rate going a little bit. Um, something that's going to, you know, I, I think a slow walk might be a good start if you never go outside, but eventually get some pace to it. So that way it's difficult enough to kind of help remove the distractions from your life and, and actually get that exercise kicked in. Um, or, or if you have the ability to go on some type of hike or some type of, even if you go out in the rocks, like the, if you get off the cement and just switch it up, you know what I mean? Try different terrains and stuff. Um, go to a park and just walk on the grass barefoot or something and just see, see what that does for you. Definitely put in the comments if you do that currently, um, or, it, or if you plan to like what that experience was like. And I want to know, like, when you guys are walking or when you plan to, what actually happens? Like what thoughts went through your mind? Like, you know, from a mental health aspect, from the exercise aspect, do you think in, in, about your past or your future? I want to know what happens when y'all are going on y'all's walks. And I want to encourage y'all that aren't exercising in that way to definitely take advantage of it because it is awesome. I, I, my, my mind, my spirit, my body just felt invigorate, like just a new vibrance came over me and I'm definitely going to start doing a lot more of that. So thank you guys. Again, I don't know what we're going to call this. We're just going to turn the camera on and see what happens. Um, and I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. So stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all soon.